Hi there everybody and welcome to my new Wrath of the Necromancer DLC video. I'm Icon and I'm going to record my first attempt on the new Act 1 boss. So let's get right into that. I have no clue what's awaiting me and I figured it would be fun to record that inexperienced attempt. Maybe I'll die, who knows. The mistress is far from a common slave driver. She is, in fact, the spoiled, rebellious daughter of a prominent noble. Always using small folk in her cruel games, she eventually committed a crime so unspeakable that even her father could not shield her. Sentenced to the mines, she was made a taskmaster due to a few bribes, but turned out to be quite excellent at the job. As far as she's concerned, she finally found a role she enjoys. Only the ascent of a certain necromancer threatens to spoil her fun. Okay, so let's get going. The task mistress, eh? Yeah, the mistress. Okay, let's check it out. She buffs people for her glory. Increase damage, luck, and accuracy. Bam, that's really, really nasty. That's really, really nasty. Okay, let's drop a slake with darkness on these fellas. And, uh... Strip them wards. That's really important because I really have zero interest in uh, g Allowing this fella to do his thing What are we gonna get in there? I'm really in uh, considering Yeah, let's try this uh, Well, no stun happened. I felt like it was worth a try because if I would have uh, managed to stun that guy that would have been um an opening for my Banshee to do something different, but uh, I really need to get get rid of that buff. I have no interest in uh, allowing this guy his plans. Okay, so uh, the headsman pulled somebody up front. Let's check out her feature, doesn't escape. When receiving damage, all allies instantly attack the minion that dealt damage, ignoring redirecting. After dying, all allies act twice and deal 300% more damage. So, it's pretty clear to me that uh, the game wants me to destroy her minions first. Because it doesn't sound like a uh, sane choice to attack the other folks first. Okay, she's healing people too. Wow, that's really nasty. So, um, my first impression here seems to be, um, let's see what happens here when I dread roll on that. Yeah, instant uh, retaliation. Wow. Okay. So, I could, uh, use that with a, uh, with a different setup to my own benefit, but we're not going to make such a foolish attempt one more time. So, I'm going to drop down some evasion on this buddy here. To avoid any further damage and I think the way to do it um, is focus down single enemies and avoid the mistress because it's uh, quite deadly to attack her first but that's okay my uh, abomination will um, heal up and uh, I'll just avoid AoE attacks let's see the uh... Ooh, nasty. Will they now attack us, this guy? Oh, too bad. But interestingly enough, this doesn't uh, do anything to them. So... So far, I do like this fight. Because um, it effectively um, prohibits me from... Uh, Focusing down the boss just first, because uh, I don't think it's a smart thing to focus down that boss first. Can't imagine that this would uh, take a good end. Let's uh, absorb the curses. I don't want her marked. It's extra damage, and uh, even though it's only one uh, debuff, it's enough to make me concerned. Okay, so she's uh, she keeps suffering damage. I like that. Let's break and swallow that fella. And... Uh, 30 Vigor regenerated per turn. I don't think I've got any problems whatsoever. Um, let's try... Oh, I can't use Ghostly Fire because of the wrong positioning there, I see. Okay, let's uh, focus down that Headsman next. Alright. But, turns out to me that this boss fight is uh, mainly about uh, finding a way, um, winning it without focusing down um, the boss first. 
that's the gist of it. Pretty simple, but uh, I mean, it's 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 Act One enemy uh, boss enemy, so I don't think it should be too hard to begin with. All right. It's a little bit annoying that she buffs up those people and, uh, oh. Uncool. But, uh, well, wait a sec. That buff stripping stuff? Uh, okay, I can't buff strip that. Okay. Oh. Okay, good thing that I can stun those guys. Oh my god, so. Accidental AoE kills are really, really uh, something uh, that which should be avoided, in my opinion. Wow, that was... Uh, oh, I don't want to experience that ever again. Okay. But uh, luckily I can just keep them stunned. That... Uh, um, takes away the option to break and swallow those guys, but uh, little do I care if I can just uh, um, make them stop attacking, you know. It's uh, quite good enough for me. Okay, let's try to kill that guy as quick as possible. Because I'm really scared about uh, any further attacks from these guys. Okay, the headsman's down, that's good. That's all I needed. And uh, yeah. I, I was hoping that I would uh, achieve a victory on the first attempt, and I think um, I even showcased it quite well. What could happen if you're uh, killing her too early? The damage on these guys is insane. Like, uh, wow. It's really a very, very painful experience, and uh, I would strongly advise anybody to not kill the mistress first. I mean, it was an accident, you know? I uh, I didn't really plan on killing her first, but it just happened. Alright friends, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to keep doing these videos for the other bosses. And I hope uh, you're going to be a little bit less uh, better prepared than me. So uh, yeah, drop a comment down below if you've got any good strategies or thoughts about this boss fight. Drop a like, drop a subscribe. Any of those would be deeply appreciated. And I hope you're having fun. See you then. Bye-bye.